If you're here, maybe you've been thinking about creating your first online class on Skillshare. Maybe you've been looking at different platforms and you just want to be sure. A couple of months ago, I published my first online class on Skillshare and I would like to talk to you about my experience. But first of all, why Skillshare? I've always loved teaching. I've taught at university, I've done workshops with colleagues and co-workers. I also love to record videos and edit them and I just have a great time doing it. So putting one and one just made sense to do like an online class. In terms of following, I don't have thousands of followers and I don't have a huge community. So using Skillshare, it was just the one that made the most sense for me. It's a platform that it's used by thousands, the users promote it, you can engage with students directly, it is really easy to create a class, so it just made sense and I didn't want to worry too much about doing loads of research on other platforms. I've used Skillshare, it works for me as a student, so I thought it would work for me as a teacher. The thing is that anyone can go onto Skillshare, upload the videos and publish a class and it is as easy as that. But because this was my first experience, I wanted to have a more guided way of creating this class. And that is why I joined the Summer Teach Challenge. What I joined was the summer edition, which ran from late June till mid-August. And it is a six weeks program where you have the support and feedback from the Skillshare teachers group and team, and they help you create the script for your first class. They give you feedback and they just help you get to the finish line. You join the challenge with other teachers that are also creating their class and there is this discussion board where you can ask questions and get feedback and it is super super useful because the teachers that are there are in the same situation as you so their feedback is super honest and direct and really helpful. The way this challenge is organized is through four milestones and this was really useful for me because I knew that I had to hit these milestones in order to publish my class so there was this extra pressure and this deadline at the end of the challenge that I knew I had to hit. So just to go really quickly through the milestones, the first one is to define your class, give it a name, a description and define the project for your course and you can change this later but it's really cool to have it at the beginning so you have a clear idea of what you're doing. The second one is to create an outline and they actually provide a template that you have to fill in with scripts, with the different videos that you are going to shoot, different materials, audio, anything that you might use in order to shoot your videos later. So it's like a nice script to have when you are actually doing the production side of it. The third milestone is to create the trailer for your class. And this is really useful because it's a small tease on what will be to actually shoot your class. So you film the trailer, you edit it, and you share it with the rest of the challenge class and the discussion board. And they give you feedback on how you talk, how you edit, how you express your ideas and how you communicate. So then it is really useful when you are shooting your actual class. And finally, the fourth and final milestone, which is to publish your class. Now there is a big gap between the third and the fourth, so they give you enough time to shoot all the videos, edit them and publish them. So once you are done with this challenge, you will have your first online class on Skillshare. It is there, it is published, it starts to get students, they watch it, they give you feedback and it's just so great. Now, as I said, you can go into Skillshare and publish a class on your own. And actually for my following classes, I'm not going to be following any challenge. I'm just gonna shoot them and publish them. But because it was my first time, it just made sense to have that extra pressure and just get to that final deadline and actually have that support from the Skillshare team. Skillshare runs these workshops and challenges all year long and I'm going to leave on the description box a link to the teachers page so you know when they are running the next one or in case you need some help on how to create your first class. So great, my first class is there. And actually, just to give you a bit of a brief of what my class is about, I decided to go with something that I'm passionate about, which is user experience design for augmented reality. I'm not gonna go into much detail, I'm just gonna tell you that if you are interested in this topic or if you are interested in watching any Skillshare class or go onto the platform and have a browse and see what's out there, I'm giving you 30 days free of Skillshare in case you just want to try it out and see what's there. 
I can assure you that once you've had these 30 days and you've seen the amount of content and skills that are taught in Skillshare, you will want to stay there and pay the full membership. So yeah, I'm going to leave in the description box as well a link for a 30 day free Skillshare membership. So, okay, I've done my class, I've published it, it has students, it has reviews, so what's next? Well, what happened next is that a month after publishing my class, I got an email saying that my class had been selected as staff pick. And this is unbelievable. For a first class especially, it is crazy. What staff pick means, it is a badge of quality. That means that the Skillshare team has selected my class as one of the best in the platform. They have a certain criteria that you have to hit in order to be selected. And apparently it's actually really hard to have a staff pick, but it means that my class is telling a relevant topic. It is actionable. I'm explaining it in a compelling way. It's organized and it has a clear value behind. So with all these criteria and once they selected a staff pick, it means that my class will have that badge at the top where students can see there is a high quality class in the platform. And this is something that I'm super proud about. I'm so happy when I saw that email, I just, I went crazy because usually when I go on Skillshare and look for classes, I try to hit the staff pick first. So seeing that my class got there, it was just crazy. So yeah, I'm super happy about it. And it is also an incentive to keep creating for the platform and work on my next class. So in this video, I don't want to talk too much about earnings because it will mean that I have to explain the different ways in which Skillshare pay you, how the teacher's fund work, how referrals work. And I think this might want a completely different video. So if you are interested about it, let me know below in the comments and I can do a video just telling you how much I've earned on Skillshare on passive income and how can you get started with the teacher fund and everything. But because I've only been in the platform for a couple of months, my numbers are not really that interesting. So I might do yeah a video like a couple of months or three months from now and just tell you how that is going. What I can tell you is that you get paid depending on the views that you have and depending on how much your students watch your class. So obviously the more classes you have, the more minutes your students watch your classes, the more you get paid. That's how it works. So what's next for me? Well, obviously the logical step is to create a second class. And for the last couple of weeks, three weeks, I've been working on what will be my second class on Skillshare. I don't really want to say much about it also because it's not really defined. So I'm still working on it. But as soon as I know more, I will share it with you, share the links and let you know how it goes. So in summary, my experience with Skillshare is super positive. It is a platform that I recommend both as a student and as a teacher, but especially if you want to create an online class, if you don't have a huge community, if you don't have thousands of followers, Skillshare is your platform. You can leverage the thousands of users that they have every single day to build your audience, build your community and teach something that is valuable to them. So if you're thinking of creating your first online class, you are not sure which platform you should use, where should you start, I suggest you go onto the Skillshare Teachers platform. I'm sure they will have a challenge coming up so you can check if they have that and follow the same six weeks program that I did over the summer. And the end result is that you will have your first online class that you can share with your friends, family, with your audience, and where you will be teaching something that you are passionate about and that it adds value and bring something to the rest of your community. If you want to know more about my Skillshare journey or you just want to make sure you don't miss any of my videos, I suggest you subscribe to the channel and you like the video and all of that. And if there's any topic you want me to talk about or you have a suggestion for a class, just let me know in the comments. We would love to hear your thoughts and I'm always open to recommendations. Thank you so much and see you next time.